This video response is going to go out to the fans of George Michael or his friends or who, I don't care who you are. But anyway, that is because uh, a music video of his was uploaded to YouTube and I watched the music video and I also read the lyrics to the song and I had a few questions about the lyrics and I'm gonna ask those in just a second however I'm probably one of the rare few YouTube personalities on the YouTube platform that will never go oh please 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 like my video and if you would be ever so kind as to subscribe to my channel which will cause all my videos to be shared all over the platform let me tell you something that ain't gonna work and I'll tell you why because YouTube cannot determine what they need to determine which is whether my videos are keeping you guys on their platform by the use of the like buttons and the subscribe buttons okay now why do these people tell you this well number one it extends the watch time on their videos which I'll tell you a little later why that would have an effect but anyway the other thing is that um, the like button itself you could flip through things all day long just go like 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 it's not gonna tell YouTube anything okay now as for the subscribe button that's a little different story have you noticed that when you hit the subscribe button now this little menu pops up and it, it sets your bell notifications there you go that's why they're telling you that now the, the bell notifications might tell YouTube something about how popular your channel is and they might want to share your videos because of it okay but what will cause YouTube to share your videos well there are two things you can well first of all if people like you who are watching these videos right now were to copy the URL of the video and share it on a different social media platform like Facebook, uh, what used to be Twitter, now is X, uh, Gab, uh, you got Truth Social, Instagram, you, Threads, whatever you want to share it on, that would get your video shared more, okay? Number two, when you increase the watch time of the video, then YouTube gets an indication that you, you, people are actually watching the whole thing and not just watching bits and pieces and, and jump, jump cutting through everything in your video. So that is a good indication. The other thing you could do, okay, is you can leave very nice comments in the comments section below. and what that tells them is you were engaged, you watched, you replied, you, you really liked the, the content that you were watching and that helps your, your ratings as well. So really what you really want to do if you want to increase, uh, if you want to motivate YouTube to share your videos more often, watch the videos all the way through, well not you, but I mean your audience needs to watch the videos all the way through, increase the watch time of every single one of your videos or have them leave the nice comments in the comments section below so that YouTube can see for themselves that gee this is a video we want to share all over the platform and there you go and another thing I need to mention real quick before we resume our video is that uh, I have published five Kindle books they're five bucks a piece if you want a copy of any of these Kindle books just leave me a comment in the comment section below and I'll send you a hyperlink to my latest book which you now can see on the screen and then uh, from there you can find my other four Kindle books and there will be more Kindle books coming soon it's all up to you buy them and let me know what you think about them alright on to the video but first alright let's go ahead and start this music review alright now I think this is the first time I've ever watched a music video and I had nothing negative to say about the video itself I mean, it's just him performing in concert it's great I love the energy of the, of the music video it was fantastic I wish the lyrics were like the video really I do because 
that was one of the most uplifting music videos I've ever seen in my life. So I can understand why a lot of people like this thing. All right? But what about these lyrics? Well, I'm going to focus on them throughout the entire review. Okay? In this day and age, a jitterbug is basically some kind of a smartphone for senior citizens. But I wonder what prompted George Michael to sing this particular line in his song. Maybe so I can answer that. And who put the boom boom in your heart and why did this person do this? Were you on an airplane when your spirit soared? So basically, you are dancing to the beat of your heart. Well, I guess you can do that. Might be fun, I don't know. What did your best friend tell you about the night before? You were sleeping in your bed and you didn't notice the person next to you had left the bed? Really? What high were you planning to hit? If you're going dancing, where's your favorite place to dance? How does your significant other take the gray skies out of your way? Now, if you have looked at the sun for at least two seconds, you will obviously see that it shines brighter than Doris Day. After all, I'm fairly positive that she wore sunscreen when she attended outdoor activities while she was still alive. So why are you so foolish when your lady is next to you? And why was, so, why was she so cruel to you? What would you and your lady fight about? Where, where will you go to dance tomorrow night? And why was it so cold? And who else is dancing? Now compared to, to the song Careless Whisper, this is actually a decent and for the most part uplifting song. The music is very positive and energetic. But some of the lyrics seem to be a precursor to the lyrics of Careless Whisper. I probably should have paid more attention to the lyrics back in 1984 when I first heard this song. Until I read the lyrics of this song, I had nothing but positive things to say about it. Now that I've read the lyrics, I feel like that I've been somewhat conned. Why did George Michael pick songs with such lousy lyrics? I don't know. Maybe he wrote them himself. I have no idea. Maybe somebody can answer that. And why were so many people like myself conned into thinking that these songs were so wonderful? Well, I can imagine it, it probably was at least factored into a lot of us kids were not exactly rich back in the day and we didn't have great big stereos that had um, you, you used to listen to stuff off the radio and if you had a great a big antenna and good stereo speakers in the whole nine yards. You could actually listen to this pretty plain and clearly. Or you could just go to the music store and check out the lyrics. Well, I never thought about going to the music store and checking out the lyrics. I mean, it was just a song I heard on the radio and I thought it was kind of cool. I never gave it a thought. Maybe I should have. I was only 14 at the time, so I didn't think about that very much. And, you know, you're in high school, you're not thinking that way, but maybe we should have. But anyway, when you have radio receptions not all that great, even on FM, it makes a difference, trust me. So now that I've actually been able to hear the lyrics the way that it was originally done in Dolby Surround the Sound and all the other goody things, yeah, it, it changed it changed my thinking quite dramatically. And of course, when it came to this song, the lyrics were sung so fast, okay? So if you had bad reception and the lyrics being sung so fast, you wouldn't have noticed uh, the, what the lyrics were actually saying. So that's why I'm criticizing this song as well as Careless Whisper. In this particular case, because the lyrics were a lot more tame than the lyrics of Careless Whisper, I am going to go ahead and give this song a B plus. Okay? And the reason why I'm not going to give it an A is because of the lousy lyrics. They're, they're not all that great. And if you really check them out, you'll find out that I'm telling the truth. Alrighty. I want to thank you very much for watching this particular presentation. I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't go away just yet. 
if you're watching this video right now and if you're not like a family member or a friend of George Michael, feel free to go over to George Michael's YouTube channel, watch his videos, rate his videos, comment on his videos, subscribe to his channel if you'd like, and more importantly, tell him that the Speed Learner sent you. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.